All right, what's up you guys? Back at the spot. Then we're gonna do a speed run with the Fortec open wheel design. All right, that was just a quick run. Let's see what we had on that. Stop and read, 85. So go ahead, track and start. We'll go another run. Really good to see us hit full throttle with this gearing. So this is pretty much gonna be the limit. We'll hit stop and read. 99 miles per hour <laughs> we were thinking we were gonna get a hundred let's go one more i'll try to stay in the throttle a little bit longer but right at 99 that's so funny let's really try to get this Fortec to 100 with the stock chassis track and start full throttle All right, let's see what we've got. Stop, read, 99 again. So that's the limit of this gearing. And unfortunately with this setup, I would have to go up an entire tooth on the pinion and down on the spur. And that might be too much of a change, but we'll try it. We're waiting for another chassis, but hey, this is a really good run, a successful run, I think for today, us being able to get to full throttle and holding it. So 99 is the limit, and we'll keep on pushing. Track, start, stop, and read, zero. Track, and you guys can see that moving. So we'll go start. It was going backwards and I hit reverse. I couldn't tell it was going backwards. <laughs> Why is he going backwards into the field? All right, I'm gonna run down and get it. Okay. Well, my mistake, but let's see what it did. Stop, read, 100 mile an hour, right on the dot, guys. Hopefully y'all can see that. All right, let's head back. And it drives, so it was just my mistake on, you know, it was going backwards, so I had to fix it real quick. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I've got a chassis swap coming up. So ch uh, carbon fiber chassis coming in the mail. So we'll get everything swapped over to that. That'll be a separate video. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care.